Hey, hey, hey guys, I'm Gabby Wallace and this is a Go Natural English lesson. I got a great question from one of you, my YouTube viewers. It is, can you please help us with when we use articles? When do we use the? So I'm really happy to answer this question because I think it's going to help a lot. I know that many of you think that articles are difficult to figure out how to use in English. That might be because in your native language you don't use articles the same way we do in English. But I'm going to make it really clear and simple today. It's not, it's not difficult, we just have to know how and why to use the. So the is called a definite article because we're talking about something definite, something specific, something that we can define clearly. So it's not something that is difficult to define or to understand. Like, for example, we wouldn't use the with love, for example unless we're talking about a specific love. The love of a mother is the best unconditional love. That's a specific kind of love. But if I say, for example, like the Beatles song says, all we need is love, then I don't need to say the because I'm talking about love in general, not a specific kind of love, not the love of a mother. Let me show you a few other examples here. We use the with objects, uh, I shouldn't say objects, I should say things that every person in the world knows about. For example, the moon. I think we all know there's a moon in the sky, so we can say the moon. Similarly, we can say the sun. We can say the earth. These are things that we all know about. So it's good to know that we can use the always, always with those things. Also, locations that are common among most cities, such as the post office. For example, I'm going to say, I'm going to the post office. There's a specific post office that I always go to. Um, but even if I'm not going to the same post office, let's say I'm going to a different post office because I'm here in Boston and there are a lot of post offices. But I would still say the because it's a common place that people go to. I would say the post office, the uh, maybe the, the dry cleaners or the laundromat, the corner store, the grocery store. Now, what are some other places that you commonly go in the city, maybe the doctor's office or the hospital, okay? Now, if I don't want to be specific, if I want to say, for example, I want to go to a random, uh, undefined, maybe a, a new post office, I could say I want to go to a post office. That implies that I am not familiar with any post offices in Boston. But in general, most of the time we would say I'm going to the post office. It's just the way that we commonly um, talk about common places like the post office. Also with countries, please, the country I'm from, the United States, please say the, the United States. Um, there's just a few other countries that need the, the United Arab Emirates, or also known as the UAE. Um, if you use words like kingdom or republic along with the name of the country, you would use the. So for example, the kingdom of Saudi Arabia, the Republic of China, um, the... For example, other geographic locations, we could say the Isle of Man, we could say the United Kingdom, of course. Um, back in the 90s, you would say the USSR, of course, it's Russia now. Um, I'm probably forgetting some countries, 
But if you think of them, please add them to the comments. The, the Democratic Republic of Congo, the former uh, Czech Republic, or the, um, what else? Guys, just add them to the comments. Help me out, and that's a good way for you to practice too. But please remember the United States. Time, oh my gosh, do you remember the time that we went camping? That was such an awesome trip. I'm talking about a specific time, the time. It's a specific duration. We did not go camping forever and ever. We went camping for a weekend. Let's pretend here, go with me. The time. There's a Michael Jackson song. Do you remember the time? He's talking about a specific memory, a time, the time. When do you use a time? Well, it's when you're not talking about a specific time. You're talking about a, a time. It could be any time. Hey, do you have a time we could meet? I don't know specifically when that would be. Um, also, you can use time without the, without a. It could be, hey, I, I, um, I, don't have, I don't have time. I'm busy, right? Uh, good, okay. So also, use the with singular count nouns. That means if you can count it. So let's say a cat, the cat, um, a tree, the tree. So you can count cats, you can count trees. So you can use the with a singular thing like that. A the cat ate my homework. The dog ate my homework. I'm talking about a specific animal. All right, so remember, in these, let's see, one, two, three, four, five occasions are usually when you're going to use the. So I hope that this helps. I want to thank you for taking the time for watching this video. And also, if you would like to keep learning with me, please check out my course ESL Troubleshooting on my website gonaturalenglish.com where you will learn to correct your biggest doubts and mistakes in English. So it's a great way to move towards fluency in the English language. And I'm so happy to be part of your journey in English and I just want to thank you again for watching my videos. Please subscribe so you can watch all of them as soon as they come out. Leave a comment and let me know what you think. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.